Everybody's freaking out. Everybody's freaking out, dude. Ah, the Fed. The Fed. The Fed raises rates by half a percentage point. The biggest hike in two decades, like 22 years, right? They got to fight inflation. Inflation's at a 40-year high, so the Fed is like, nope, no more inflation. Raising the rate. What does that mean for you? What does it mean for housing? What does it mean for real estate investors? What does it mean for people like me, people like you, who make our money buying real estate, folks? That's what we're diving into. Let's go! Welcome to the show, y'all. My name is James Wise, and I am here for you, for you. Every one of you beautiful, lovable people out there, except for the liberals. Fuck you guys. But everybody else I'm here for, okay? And I want to talk to y'all about some real estate and what is going down, right? Everybody's freaking out, man. The Fed raises rates by half a percentage point, the biggest hike in two decades, right? They got to fight inflation, 40-year inflation, 22-year high rate hike, okay? What does that mean? Well, it means interest rates for your mortgages. They're going to go up, okay? That's it. They're going to go up. That is how the cookie crumbles. Dumb freaking joints are so low. They've been so low for so long. Of course they're going to go up, dude. The money was, like, free, bro. Like, come on, guys. We're getting 30-year loans at, like, 3%, sometimes even lower, dude. I mean, come on. You didn't think that gravy train was going to be lasting forever. Are you serious? What do you got to do? Everybody's like, oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? You don't do nothing, man. You keep keep it moving, y'all. It's freaking housing. It's buying real estate. It's buying land, man. This ain't the Oregon Trail, okay? All the land's already been found. And I know a lot of people out there, if the Wokies are still listening, and I know if anybody from Oregon's listening, they're definitely a Wokie. They're like, hey, this guy, this guy says Oregon wrong. It's Oregon. I, mean, I, I read the comments, man. But, like, you know, like, fuck everybody from Oregon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but this, this right here, this is housing over the last 60 years, y'all. Housing over the last 60 years. Started in 1963. All the way up to now, okay? What's happening? It's going up, baby. Yeah. The biggest, (laughs) look at this. Everybody freaks out about, like, the Great Recession, right? Which I got my career in real estate started during this time. It goes up, all right? It's housing. The show goes on. It's land. It's real estate. It's going to keep appreciating, y'all. At the end of the day, there is nothing. More tried and true than investing in real estate. You can be the biggest dipshit in the world. And if you buy some real estate and own it for like 30 years, you're going to make money. It's like obnoxiously hard uh, to lose money investing in real estate. Like, yeah, if you buy something like a rental property, you have some rough run-ins, and then you immediately go, oh, I can't handle this, and you quit, and you sell your property, yeah, you'll have – uh, experienced a, a loss, yes, because you didn't, you didn't stick it out. But, folks, at the end of the day, it keeps going up. Like me, myself, I run a $75 million real estate portfolio, and I've seen my fair share of messed up stuff. You don't believe me? Check this out. Yeah, so they plant some things. And if you take a look at this wall, you can see that they never clean where their stove used to be. I see we got John Holton. Uh, He looks like he's got a huge saw. A lot of times these tenants, they'll change the locks. They'll barricade the doors so the eviction crew can't get in. Oh, the refrigerator's unplugged. We know what that means, don't we? (laughs) Right. But we're going to put a lock on there and we're going to give give it to you. And uh, took a lot of bugs out hoping they... Cause it'd be dark in the motherfucker. Yeah, who wants to hang out in the dark? Mm-hmm. And I took the one out there. 
take care of it. I just have to sweep this right now. They seem to think that if they throw away the key when it's eviction day, we won't be able to get in. But uh, as you can see from John bringing a gigantic saw into this property, that's not the case. Gary pointed out that they almost fucking burned their couch and probably killed themselves. So that's good. HWN. Nobody enjoys throwing an entire family's things on the tree lawn. You see what I'm saying? All that crap has happened to my rental property portfolio, folks. And you know what? I'm still here. I'm still kicking. Even with all that nastiness, real estate is still where it's at. It's still making us money. So, yeah. You know what you should do when the rates are at historically low rate, uh, like all-time low? You know what you should do? You should buy real estate. You know what you should do now that they're a little bit higher and they're going to get a little bit higher, but they're still pretty low? You should still buy real estate, folks. No other business in the world has made more self-made millionaires than real estate. If you are out there and you are not of the general knowledge and understanding that real estate ownership is a good thing. Like, dude, what are you doing, man? Hit up Google, bro. Like, Google uh, the average net worth of a homeowner versus a lifelong renter, dude. It's like Monopoly, dog. You got to own the houses, man. And I know some people uh, are thinking, like, no, oh, it's only some states, some states. It's bad. It doesn't go up. No, it always goes up, man. This chart, I thought this was a nice little chart. Uh, it's a little old. It ended in 2011, but it shows you housing from 1975 to 2011, right? The average uh, appreciation. Every single one of those states during this, was that, 25, 30, over this 36-year period, has saw gains, right? And go even further, right? Here's a little bit more updated data from you, from Zillow. There's no more, <laughs> you can't get a more accurate uh, and authentic real estate data source than Zillow. Am I right? They always, they always hit the nail on the head. Y'all know what I'm saying? Them Zestimates are always, anyway, anyway, folks, the moral of the story. Look at this. This is your, your Western stuff, right? Your California, your Oregon, Oregon, whatever you want to call it, Washington, Hawaii, right? These are super in high demand states uh, areas over the last 20 years, right? You got San Jose, San Francisco, LA, stuff like that, right? You see, you get your little dip, but guess what? The show goes on. It still goes up. It still goes up, right? But that, I don't think that's shocking news to anybody. I think everybody is like aware that you buy property out there in Seattle. Uh, you buy stuff in LA, you buy stuff in San Francisco, it's going it's to increase in value, right? You can't get any cash flow when you invest in these areas, right? But you invest for appreciation. But what about that cash flow real estate, right? The Rust Belt, right? Places like Michigan, places like Ohio, where I'm from, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, right? Your Rust Belt. The places that supposedly never appreciate and are only good for low-income Section 8 cash flow rentals, right? What about those? Well, guess what? Yeah, they're below average, but they're still going up, except for Flint. I think Flint, Flint may have, like, remained flat, okay? But, like, dude. They don't even have freaking drinkable water in Flint. I mean, come on, it's Flint. Outside of horrible Flint, everything else is good. Oh, it even says it right here. I didn't even I didn't even notice that part of the chart. Flint was the only U.S. city that had negative price movement since 2000. But them sons of bitches don't have water, of course. But it still looks pretty damn close, right? So it's barely. So the moral of the story is it's real estate, y'all. Settle down. You buy it today, it's going to be worth more in the future, right? We could say that without having a crystal ball because we have data to back it up, right? Historically speaking, we have decade upon decade upon decade upon decade of data available to tell us, hey, man, buying real estate is a good idea. It was a good idea when interest rates were 3%. And you had to put down 25%. The bank kicked in 75 if it was a rental. If you're an owner-occupant, what are you putting down? 1%, 3.5%, 5%, maybe 10 And the bank kicks in between 90 and 99%, right? 
and then your asset is worth more money down the road. It was a good idea when you could get those 30-year loans at 3%. Good idea at 4 Good idea at 5 Guess what? Still a good idea at 6 And so on and so forth, folks. What are your freaking... What are your friggin' credit card interest rates, right? What's your APR and M sons of bitches? Like almost 30% for some crazy reason. Y'all be paying that interest off like fucking maniacs. Folks, I'm watching too many investors freak the hell out, okay? Real estate is a great investment today, tomorrow, yesterday, and it's going to keep on going. And by the way, if you guys are interested in investing in that cash flow real estate in the Midwest here, where you get the cash flow, but guess what? You also actually do get appreciation. Not a lot, but you do get some because it's a tried into investment. Uh, after you finish watching this show, why don't you book a free call at my team? We've sold over $200 million worth of real estate to investors just like you, and we help investors get in the business, get in the game every single day, and we take care of all that rough stuff on the ground tenants, toilets, and trouble. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.